well we have tried our level best to give you a complete understanding on the internship part let us also try and cover how to find the right internship so with the level of competitiveness in the job market increasing graduates need to demonstrate a range of skills and expertise to secure employment completing an internship gives candidates a great advantage when applying for graduate schemes particularly in investment banking accountancy and professional services and of course the IT and the software industry for many students an internship is a first opportunity to get to know an industry a job role and the working culture of the company while making contacts and applying skills developed during university it is important to consider internships and make applications to companies you both want to work at and believe will provide you with a good platform for getting a graduate job upon graduation so internships are increasingly critical as a step in the door to a successful corporate career not job alone so how to find the right internship for you there is a lot to think about when considering an internship when making applications you will usually be expected to apply for one particular business area it is important to spend time exploring the different divisions and career opportunities that are available to you before submitting your applications we have put together a selection of things that you should bear in mind to help you find the right internship so the first criteria is the pay they are not exactly ethical but don't discount unpaid internships out of hand as the right one could result in a greater salary and better prospects further down the line carefully consider your options in particular opt for businesses which are growing fast as these are more likely to re recruit you after you have graduated so pay is something that you should mind minimum instead you should be focus on whether that particular industry is in line with your domain knowledge or not so that you will be happy throughout your life second factor would be are you a self starter initiator perhaps you have a company in mind that you think would be an ideal fit but it doesn't advertise internships many a times this happens in that case send the company a speculative letter to express your interest offering to volunteer some of your time each week show initiative and enthusiasm and you might get noticed for the right reason number 3 skills an internship should build on and develop your skills don't choose an internship just because it it's in the industry that you would like very important choose one that allows you to develop the skills you think you will need so it is not about your skill your knowledge and the industry that you would like to apply it is also to do with the skill sets that you possess and maybe hone them over a period of time or maybe develop a new skills whether that's relationship building collaboration leadership project management planning and organizing problem solving or decision making or being resourceful etc etc research the company and learn how you can build these skills during your internship number 4 network choosing the right opportunity may take a little trial and error networking can be a great method of deciding whether an internship is right for you or not try to attend as many company presentations as possible network with other students or graduate trainees you may know and use careers websites such as wiki job linkedin just dial to help you in your research so then important question is where can i find about internships so few websites wiki job is one try the others the other could be graduate talent pool 
in turn wise rate my placement target jobs the other which are more popular and which everybody knows is linkedin just dial google job consultants which you can again get through just dial and don't forget ever that your referral your seniors your training and placement department also plays a very very important role so build the right kind of referral and get to know how internships can work for you and where you can get through university or college career services could be one the staff will be experienced in helping students with all aspects of job search and application including finding suitable internship so your training and placement department in your college would help you out along with the job consultants who look for an internship or the part timers job fairs often hosted by universities or large businesses these present a great opportunity to find suitable internships business looking to hire interns will usually have a dedicated booth or stands where you can obtain further information and go for your internship professional organizations trade associations regularly advertise vacancies or opportunities for interns find the organizations or bodies in your industry and reach out to them to see if they have any opportunities available or if they can provide you with the contact details of businesses who are looking for interns well the application process of internship Once you have located a suitable internship that appeals to your interest and skills you will need to apply before you do so make sure you fully understand the requirements review the listing carefully to identify the documents that you need to make your application some employers may request that you send transcripts of your qualification and reference letters so leave sufficient time to collect the required documentation documentation before the deadline it could be your college it could be your influencer your industry role model anybody your cv and cover letter also need to be polished and tailored to the job that you are applying for and in the format requested after the documents have been sent follow up to make sure that they have received and take the acknowledgement so when should i start applying for internship internships are advertised throughout the year keep an eye out for the latest opportunities competitive internships with a formal application process will have strict deadlines familiarize yourself with the recruitment cycles for these opportunities the majority of students will undertake an internship during their later years of university because this increases the likelihood of the internship leading to a job offer that being said it is increasingly common for students to do internships in their first summer to get early exposure to work experience so normally for the engineering student it is the 6th and the 7th semester so mind that and start working well in advance towards your internship getting your cv in shape or resume in shape if you haven't updated your resume or cv for some time or if you have never returned it now is the time to get on it A good resume or a CV should be clear, concise and easy to read. For students, one page is more than sufficient when it comes to internship. So start your resume or CV with your personal details at the top, including name, address, telephone number and email address. Summary. The second thing is summary. This is the first section that the employer will read. So it needs to be engaging. Emphasize your key skills and say what you can bring to the role this section should be no longer than 3 or 4 sentences achievements the next comes achievements a brief list of your main academic and work achievement should be listed here after achievement will be education list the degree that you are studying as well as your core cgpa sgpa and your percentile next comes work experience or voluntary work within this section list your paid or voluntary work describing your main duties and responsibilities where possible try and relate the experiences to the opportunity that you are applying for drawing on the skills and competencies in the person specification and the job description provided to you 
always write your cv in the third person and make sure that you check it thoroughly before sending it to your employer following up on your initial application failure to follow after your application has been submitted is like cramming for your exams and then falling asleep and missing them even the most organized and industrious students fall into this trap every year they send great application for an internship but they don't follow up with the employers as a result their applications gets lost and forgotten a follow up doesn't have to be anything elaborate it can be as simple as a brief email thanking the employer for taking the time to consider your application following up also shows you are both professional and confident when when communicating perhaps most importantly a follow up will keep you at the forefront of the employer's mind which could give you an advantage over the other candidates tackling the interview if you manage to navigate through the application process with success the final stage is to tackle the interview interviews can be very daunting especially if you are at the beginning of your career and have not yet perfected your technique there are three basic things that you can do to make sure you stand out and what are these the first is to ensure that you are adequately prepared review the company website in detail explore the firm's mission statement and assess the similarities that you have in common use this research and incorporate into your answers if you can during the interview secondly when it comes to asking questions ask what the internship will involve ask the recruiter to describe a typical day of an intern finally let the recruiter know that you can start immediately assuming that you can recruiters are looking for a realistic understanding of what's involved in the role you are applying for and for your answers to suggest what strengths skills competencies and personal attributes you have so accepting the offer or choosing between offers in case if you have more than one the ultimate goal of an internship is to acquire valuable work experience in your chosen industry an internship is intended to complement your academic studies and help you to build the skills that you need to secure a job after you graduate if you are lucky enough to be offered an internship deciding whether or not to accept is important you should not accept an internship if you believe that it is going to negatively impact on your studies this is always better to secure an internship that fits in more effectively with your study schedule than accept an opportunity that is going to have a detrimental impact on your university work so getting the most from your internship an internship offers a way into some of the best careers and if there's one thing that you can do to make you stand out to potential employers it's to gain real work experience that said an internship is what you make of it the more you put in the more benefit you will gain so here are our top tips for what you should and shouldn't do when you have secured an internship do's define your objectives keep a work diary and show willingness don'ts decline an opportunity to gain experience that is beyond the limit of your post be afraid to ask questions if you are unsure give up on your search for an internship create a bad impression even if your internship doesn't turn out the way you had hoped or overstep your boundaries converting an internship to a permanent position while there is no guarantee that you will secure a paid job at the end of your internship many companies will hire graduates from their pool of interns here's how you can increase the chances of that happening treat it like a job one of the best ways that you can improve your chances of securing a permanent position is to behave as if you are an employee that means being punctual acting in a professional manner coordinating your work effectively and complying with workplace policies and procedures have a good attitude during your internship build rapport with your coworkers and widen your network of contacts attend any events if you are invited and treat every opportunity that you are given as an opportunity to meet new contacts and build relationship be motivated if you take on new task stay receptive to change and put all your effort into the completion of the task that you are set you will earn greater recognition if you see some of your coworkers have an increased workload 
ask if you can help no matter how hard you work and how well you fit into the team your internship won't always result in a permanent job offer if that's the case remember that your internship is a valuable learning experience and also an excellent opportunity to boost your employability by enhancing your key skills and areas of expertise so how to find right internship for you you have all the answers listed above now go back check and learn hard best wishes Thank you.